Welcome to Ship Tech. Today we are discuss about duct keel. Let's have a stunning duct keel entry. Take all safety precautions before you enter the duct. Duct keel is provided in double bottom hull ships and consist of solid plates welded into a box shape, forming an internal watertight passage running way. Long the length of the ship, usually from collision bulkhead to forward engine room bulkhead. It is formed by two longitudinal girders which should not be less than 1.83 meters apart. The distance must not be exceeded as girders must be supported by keel blocks when docking. Transverse stiffening bar or brackets are normally provided on the keel and in a bottom plating between the girders. Following are the advantages of duct keel. One, they are a higher strength compared to other types of the keel as they give excellent resistance to loads due to its box structure. Two, it allows protective cables, bunker pipelines, and ballast pipelines to run for and aft beneath the cargo spaces. This allows the pipelines to be easily inspected even when cargo is loaded. Three, it is possible to carry oil and water pipes in the duct to prevent contamination, which could OCCU. RFP pipes pass through cargo tanks. 4. It acts like a cofferdam and is provided with a sounding pipe to detect any leakage. It is very important to carry out duct keel inspection on a regular basis. Duct keels have bunker and ballast pipelines running along its full length and connecting to various bunker storage tanks and ballast tanks. Any leakage from these pipelines can cause severe problems and risk the safety of the ship. Hence it is necessary to carry out periodic inspections of the duct keel. Inspections to be carried out in the duct keel. One, one of the main problems in pipe duct keel is leakage from flexible coupling in bunker lines. In between bunker pipeline are expansion joints of flexible couplings, whose purpose is to resist the ship's flexing when ship is under heavy sea loads. During rolling and pitching, the flexible couple loosen and results into leakage of fuel and duct keel. It is important to check every flexible coupling visually during inspection and tighten them if found loose. 2. Visually inspect the condition of lagging over bunker pipelines. There are heat tracing lines under the insulation lagging to keep the bunker warm inside. These heat tracing lines can be steam lines or electric heat tracing lines. 3. Check the working of bridge alarms. There is duct keel forward bridge alarm and duct keel aft bridge well alarm. If any leakage causes overflow in duct keel, the bridge well will fill up and give alarm. Thus, it is important to make sure bridge alarms are working. 4. Visually check the condition of bunker remote valves. These valves are very critical and important as they are used to transfer bunker from storage tanks to settling tanks. They are operated remotely and can be operated manually in case of remote operation failure. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and support.